Hello everyone, Zarvolt here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, new tutelage deck. Now this is a uh, tutelage deck where I've uh, taken my uh, Grixis Control deck that I did uh, a while back and uh, combined it with some uh, tutelage elements, and uh, it changes the deck up enough where uh, I like it. I think it's pretty fun. Um, this tutelage deck is a little bit different than a lot of people's. I don't have as much card draw, but uh, we've got more counter spells and more ways to... Uh, get rid of their stuff and uh, we can win without tutelage if we need to so uh, I'll just tell you what I've got in here now I started with my Grixis control deck and I think I've got five or six cards that I took out of that deck and we've got Sphinx's tutelage and fevered visions instead now I've got the two fatal push two fiery impulse two pull from tomorrow three Sphinx's tutelage Two Fevered Visions, two Scattered of the Winds, three Broken Concentration, three Unlicensed Disintegration, two Radiant Flames, two Languish, two Cut to Ribbons, two Confirmed Suspicions, two Dark Intimations, one Torrential Gear Hulk, one Chandra Flame Collar. Two never to return. Two commit to memory. Three island. Three swamp. Three mountain. Two wandering fumarole. Two smoldering marsh. Two sunken hollow. Two drowned catacomb. Two sulfur falls. Two Dragon Skull Summit and four Evolving Wilds. Now uh, that's what we got in this deck, so uh, we'll play a few games and uh, see what happens. Okay, we've got one land. That's not going to do. Um, four land looks pretty good. Let's see here. If we put this blue down, we'll be able to play all our other land untapped. Okay. Looks like turn three, fever visions, um, and then that's it. Turn five, confirmed suspicions, but uh, let's hope they don't have some fast aggro deck. So it's a black white shambling vent. So, uh, so what do we have? We've got double blue, we've got double red, we've got double black. I think we need to. Um, Go ahead and get another blue, because blue feels like it's the most important. So let's just go ahead and get some more blue. And then probably put this Sulphur Falls down and uh, start doing Fever Visions this next turn. Okay, it's another tap land, so that's good. Okay, Sulphur Falls, Fevered Visions comes down. Might be some sort of uh, Mardu um, artifacts, um, just Mardu good stuff, who knows. More land. Looks like we're getting quite a bit of land here. Another Needle Spires, okay. And they draw a card and take two damage from the Feared Visions. And they discard. Let's see what they discard. Okay, Planar Outburst, okay. Um. What do we have here? Um, I guess let's put Dragon Skull Summit down to uh, get some black here in a second. Yep, there we go. We'll have the double black for Languish in case they start playing creatures. Um, but uh, right now we've got the Broken Concentration. And uh, are they playing anything? Looks like no plays. Okay, so we're going to do more to them with um, Fevered Visions. And they have to discard. What else are they discarding? Okay, another Planar Outburst. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get that double black out. And um, then we can confirm suspicions if they play anything. Or if they play a bunch of creatures, um, we can languish more land. Wow, we've gotten a ton of land. Um, let's 
Let's get rid of this evolving wall, because I don't think we need that. Okay, they've got a Gideon, so let's go ahead and confirm suspicions of that. And, uh, they draw an extra card and lose two more life. Okay, so this might be a, uh, game where we just kill them with our, uh, life drain. Okay. From Fever Visions. Um, do we Chandra or not Chandra? Um... I feel like they've probably got another Planeswalker. What do they have in Mardu Killers? Nahiri, maybe? Um... I almost feel like it's better to keep these broken concentrations open, but uh, we do have them at 14. If we put Chandra out, we can uh, get him to 8. So let's just go ahead and do that. Even if they put they put Nahiri or something out, um, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and do this. I think we, if they can't get rid of Chandra, they're dead this next turn. From Fevered Visions and the Two Elementals. So let's see, they can attack with one of these lands, I guess, and do quite a bit to her. We get more land, okay. Black, white, tap land. So they got four mana open. They've pretty much got, get, got to get rid of Chandra right now. Or uh, they're in big trouble. Okay, he's going to cast out Chandra. Okay. That's fine. Takes six damage. I mean, two damage, and goes down to six. That's what I meant to say. Um, we've got, I guess, another black, and um, I guess we pass and uh, crack some of these clues if he doesn't play anything that we need to counter. Radiant Flames, um, probably going to be worthless in this matchup. I don't see any creatures coming out yet, so. Uh, Anguished Unmaking, okay, we will definitely uh, Broken Concentration that. And uh, let's crack a few clues. And uh, hopefully we get something else besides a bunch of land. Okay, Fiery Impulse, and Pull from Tomorrow, okay. So they take two damage from Fevered Visions. We play a land, um, probably discard the cut to ribbons, and then we have them at this next turn, once we uh, discard the hand size. Okay, there's a fatal push, so we discard cut to ribbons and this land. Okay, Gift of Paradise, um, that's fine, they can gain two, I guess. I think Gift of Paradise gains two life, right? Three life, okay. So we can still ribbons for quite a bit, okay. But they're going to take damage from Fevered Vision, so uh, we can ribbons for five and then have them dead. They've got one, two mana open. Okay, Liliana. Um, we don't care about Liliana, that's fine. Because we're about to get him this next turn. We've got ribbons in the graveyard. Let's go ahead and crack this clue and see what we get. Okay, they can't do anything about it, so let's um, go ahead and just ribbons and put them out of their misery. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, what do we got? We've got a bunch of land. No blue. I guess we'll keep this. We got a red. We'll put this red out with this evolving wilds and then uh, see what else they've got. Okay, looks like they've got Hissing Quagmire. So, uh, let's see what land we need to play. Um, okay, let's play this um, land here. And that way our other one should come in untapped. Okay, they've got black and green. So I guess this is just a black and green deck. Okay, so it looks like we got a dark intimation, so we got both of those right now, so uh, that's going to be good for us. Okay, we'll play this Drowned Catacomb, and uh, go ahead and play our Tutelage. And they've got an Evolving Wild. And they've got red mana, okay. Let's go ahead and tutelage them out. And uh, we got a counter spell ready for uh, whatever they play, I guess. Okay, what do they have? Do they really, they really got nothing, okay. That's great. Go ahead and put our fever visions out then, and uh, see what else they got. We need some land though. Uh, that's definitely not good. Okay, cathartic reunion. This may be uh, some sort of reanimation deck. Yep, it is. Okay, there's Omneth. Okay, so we can counter whatever they try to reanimate. So, this is going to work out pretty good for us. And we got Dark Intimations. So, the reanimator decks really do bad against us, I feel like, because we can just counter everything. There's Ulamog. Okay. So, yep. We just need land now. Languish, okay. Let's see. I guess we go ahead and get rid of these, rid of one of these fiery impulses, and um, I guess we'll just get rid of both of these fiery impulses, because it looks like they're not gonna. So we've got three land out of the first fifteen cards. So we've got rash from the grave, okay. So we've got um, broken concentration. So we'll put a stop to that. And they uh, lose four life from fever visions. Okay, there's finally some land. Okay, so we'll just keep on going. We've got another counter spell for the uh, next um, rise from the grave type spell. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so they've got the Gitrog monster, so we're going to scatter the winds that. And uh, tutelage them down some more. They're losing life from fever visions. So here we're probably going to hit a big glut of land here, I'm thinking. But that'll be alright. So now we can um, dark intimations, uh, whatever they put out. Next. 
And there's our pool from tomorrow, so we'll do that if they don't play anything else. So quite a bit in this deck. Okay, there is Green Warden of Marasa. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull from tomorrow now. For three. Okay, there's our cut to ribbons. So we'll go ahead and discard that. And uh, tutelage them out some more. So they're going to be able to get some awesome card back with the uh, Green Warden, but uh, we've almost got them tutelaged out. Probably going to get back Ulamog, I guess. Well, no, but if they don't have the mana to cast it, they'll probably get a, a Rational Grave type effect. And then put Ulamog out. Um, I think Ulamog is on cast, isn't it? Whenever you cast Ulamog, you exile. So they can't exile. So they've got a Reclamation Sage. Okay. We just need a, a Counterspell for the Reclamation Sage. Or some way to draw extra cards. Okay, no way to um, get extra cards. Okay. Let's put this Wandering Fumer all down. Um, cut to ribbons. Dark intimations. Um, Dark Intimations would make us draw a card. So I say we go ahead and do that. They're probably going to rash from the Grave Ulamog. Or play their um, Reclamation Sage on us. We just need one draw spell. Okay, they're getting Omnath. I guess they'll be able to play Omnath. So we tutelage them out some more. Okay, there's Reclamation Sage. Um, I don't think this Radiant Flames is going to help us. Or Languish. They can play Omnath and put land out. They can play Reclamation Sage and get rid of our tutelage, I guess. They've got three cards left, though. Probably getting Ulamog and Omnath or something silly like that. Gonna go ahead and fatal push this so that whenever we cast Dark Intimations, it will uh, they'll have to sacrifice whatever they bring out. Okay, they're bringing out their uh, guy's revenge. Okay, so Dark Intimations will take care of that. And we got three cards left. Okay. Let's see. How do we do this? I think Dark Intimations is our best plan. And there's a second Fevered Vision, so that's good. So they've got two cards left. Now they'll probably rush in the grave Ulamog. Let's see what they do. OK, 
Okay, it's Gaz Revenge. Taking us down to two. I've got one card left, okay. How much can we ribbons for? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, okay. Yep, we have them. Um, ribbons for five. Um, yeah, because they'll they'll lose whenever they go to a draw card. That's right. Okay. So Tutelage got them this time, even though they got rid of it. And there's another Tutelage. Okay. And there's Chandra. Let's get rid of these two land. Okay, that wasn't a bad game. Okay, two land. Can't keep that. Um, I guess we can try to keep this. Two land hand. Okay, red and green. Guess we get our blue first. Guess we can. I don't know. Let's see what they've got. Red green though. Cinder glade. Okay, they've got blue green also. So this is some sort of planeswalker deck, maybe. There's another blue. Um, let's go ahead and put this down and then these other lands will come in this will come in untapped after this turn. But we'll probably play the um, island just in case they've got some kind of uh, Okay, they've got a filigree familiar. Okay. Okay, we will put this out and have our scatter to the winds ready in case they play something good. I think we just take that for now and to see what else they're going to play. Okay, grapple with the past. I guess we'll let that go. <clears throat> okay. Let's do this. Um, Let's see, we can fire impulse that and then scatter to the winds, whatever they, else they play. So I guess we hold up scatter. Yeah, let's just go ahead and kill this. And uh, we'll just scatter the winds if they play something really good. Okay, no play. That's good. Good for us, anyway. Okay. Play this and uh, pass the turn. Okay, six mana, what do they have? They've got a glory bringer, okay, that's definitely a um I think we could just unlicense disintegration that.
So that way we've got her scattered for like a planeswalker or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put this out. And uh, we're ready to go. So we've got Gearhawk to um, kill a creature or something like that. Let's see what else they have. Blue, red, and green so far. And an evolving wild, okay. Okay, no play. Okay, there's a pull from tomorrow that we could play at the end of our turn. Aether Hub. Do they not play anything? Okay, they're not playing anything. We'll go ahead and pull from tomorrow for the max. See if they've got some sort of flash creature or something like that. Um, let's see, we'll just discard a land. And um, let's see, we've got three blue, five red, Four black, so we need another blue source out there. We could play Chandra or just hold up some counter spells. Let's just hold up some counter spells. Not sure what all they've got in this deck, but uh, it's green. Okay, Elder Deep Fiend, okay. We're going to confirm suspicions that. Let's see. When you cast, okay. So they've got a Chandra that we can never, or we can play our Chandra and get rid of it. So they're ticking up, okay. Adding red mana. Is that four something? Okay, Baral's expertise, okay. They're getting rid of our clues. Nothing I can do about that. Okay, a druid, okay. Let's see, how do we do this? Um, Chandra can do what? Can we never end Chandra? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we can, okay. So let's never there, Chandra. Put our own Chandra out, and they'll probably block with uh, their uh, guy, but that'll be okay. Still haven't drawn a tutelage. So uh, there's that. Yep, no tutelage yet. Is he going to block? Probably blocks and uh, this finds land for them. They've got two cards left. But uh, if they've got a new Lamog or something, we're in trouble. But uh, we'll see what they've got. We just need to make it past this turn and then we got the counter spells back up. So we can start countering stuff. Let's hope they don't have anything good in their hand. But we can commit to memory if they've got something, so... Some way to get rid of our Chandra would be bad. Okay, they've got nothing, so that's great. Um, what do we have? We've got commit to memory, not commit to memory. We've got, um... 
return to never to return but we're not going to do that um well i guess we can we might as well that way um let's see we can get rid of this that way they can't do our their thing to us let's do this um and we put favorite visions out that's enough to uh, play a counter spell this next turn so i think we do that and uh, let's go ahead and put our elementals out and attack. What do they have? Okay, they've got Elder Deep Fiend, okay. And we'll just go ahead and scatter that. Okay, so we hit them for six with our elementals. They've got two cards in hand. Okay. They're going to be drawing extra cards with fever visions, though. That's the only bad thing about that. So they're more apt to play something. Okay, filigree familiar. They get to gain life. And we, they draw an extra card with fear visions, but that's okay. Okay, Fumarol. Um, guess we put that out. Guess we go ahead and fire impulse this. And uh, let's attack with our two uh, tokens. This is doing eight to them, so this will take them down to seven. Okay, they've got harness lightning. Okay, for one of the tokens, that's fine. So we've got a commit and a torrential gear hulk if they've got something else. And we've got another fevered visions on the way. Okay, great. Okay, they've got Ulamog. Probably Exile, Fevered Visions, and uh, Chandra. That's okay. We're going to confirm suspicions. On Ulamog, get rid of Ulamog, and we get a couple of. Uh, clue tokens here, so that's good. I think we got them because we've got the fumarol to attack. So, uh, yeah, let's just do that then. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, appreciate the uh, subscribers and uh, the likers. <laughs> so if you want to join the uh, ranks of the uh, likers and subscribers, please uh, subscribe and like. Uh, thank you.